This ain't our first rodeo. We know how to get into it. Yeah. It's not our first rodeo, but... I think it's our last. It's going to be our last for the semester. That's right. Well, all right, Austin. Awesome. <laughs> we're, we're dialing it in. This is it. This is the last episode of the semester. We're thinking we're going to cap it off here. We're ready for the summer. I think yeah. that's what we're... we're yeah. Or at least I am. I'm ready for it to be here. So. I very much am. feel like there's been no breaks, no, no nothing. Breaks. Just nonstop, crazy train to the end of the semester. Well, so in that spirit, in that mindset, in the cup today, uh, we've got the top 10, uh, in no particular order, um, the top 10 places you can go travel to this year, according to U.S. World and News. All right, let's, let's I mean, get into it. I mean, let's get excited. Let's... Let's go someplace without actually going that place. You know what I'm saying? So, sounds like a deal. That's man. the best we can do, with our budget at least. <laughs> our budget of zero. Our budget of zero dollars. All right. So number nine, we got Honolulu, Hawaii. Can't go wrong with the classic Hawaii vacation. I mean, that's it, right Getting there. Getting the little what do they call it? A lay around your neck? Yeah, the yeah the lay. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. lay out on the beach with your lay on your neck. <laughs> lay out on the beach with the lay. I this like island it. boasts a cool combination of Hawaii's urban and rural offerings. There are plenty of resorts, nature hikes to keep you busy. Honolulu offers some history as well, including the Pearl Harbor National Memorial. So. I mean, it sounds like you got the total package here. I mean, you got the resorts if you want it. You can go take a hike. You got history there. You go check out a memorial. So, I mean, it's all there. And like you said, you got the lay on the beach. I mean, that's it. You big beach guy? Uh, yeah, so, well, kind of. My family, they like to go every single year. Yeah. I'm always the one out that's, like, trying to get us to try out some other places. But, you know, at the end of the day, you spend time with your family. I don't really care where we go, honestly. And they like the beach. I like the beach. It's cool. I, I'd i have to agree with you there. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the beach. I'm more of, like, a, I'm more of like a mountain kind of nature hike yeah, kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. That's same. my wheelhouse. So, I mean, let's see if we got some more of those in here. All right, number two. So this is one Ooh, of the best. Is, one of the best you could get. We're jumping up, top charts. Yosemite, California. Beautiful waterfalls, giant sequoias, cool rock formation. Yosemite's got such a wide array of ways to get you out and exploring. With nearly four million visitors a year, that's crazy. I mean, that's nuts. The four million folks. I mean, are four million folks going out there this year? I don't know, uh, but. Pretty cool. I mean, this is what I was talking about. Big nature guy. I yeah. think going out, checking out some of those waterfalls, those those yeah. cliff, cliff and rock structures. You can't beat that. <laughs> cliff and rock structures. He sounded like my geology teacher or yeah, something. That's right. I you know, I took one introductory class. I think I'm I think I'm hot stuff now. That's how it goes. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, but I mean, beautiful. I've always wanted to go out and like camp do that kind of stuff out there but is what it is yeah um you um so if you if you dig that did uh you you go to the iams nature center here in knoxville i do a good amount i yeah. like going out there because they've got a few good like well obviously one of the quarries is out there you go swim and do a yeah. little bit of that. And, and they got some good trail rides back there too um i mean it's a good it's a good little area so i like to get out all right number five glacier national park so that's right on the u.s canada border we got two Mount Rages, 700 lakes, waterfalls, four days. This park has some of the prettiest hiking trails around and has been dubbed the crown of the continent. I've actually heard a little bit about this place. Where I, is it? It's like, it's like right on the, it's the U.S. Canadian border. Oh, nice. I mean, I think it's because like all like the rivers, like, so like there's like big lakes and all this stuff. Like there's a lot of like rivers yeah. that are fed from that. So that's why they call it like the crown of the continent. Don't ask me how I know that. Maybe it's that geology class I took freshman year. I mean, maybe it's com finally coming back to be worth something. Uh, but, I mean, it's pretty stuff. Like I said, I can't, get, I can't get enough of the mountain ranges. Like, so, I mean, I love the Smokies out here. I mean, you get to go yeah, out yeah. to the Smokies that, that often? Uh, not super often, but when I was younger, uh, me, my grandparents, all my cousins, we used to go yeah. over there, like, every single year, and it was, it was so fun. There's something that can't be beat about catching a sunrise or a sunset in the mountains. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that right there alone is enough for me to hike it up and go to Glacier. I mean, yeah. Glacier Park also, isn't that a water brand? I mean, that sounds like, that just sounds like I want <laughs> to go there and drink water. water. Like, yeah. you just go bottle some water, go drink that. 
All right, so number seven here, we got San Francisco, California, home of the cable cars that run up and down the streets. San Fran has no shortage of places to check out, most prominently the Golden Gate Bridge. I thought that that got destroyed by the monkeys in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> didn't know they rebuilt it. Oh, shoot, yeah, I, they, didn't, they didn't say that this was the Golden Gate Bridge, too. I didn't realize that that had, that had happened. Yeah. I mean... That's my thing, though, is who's getting excited about a bridge? I mean, maybe it's just because maybe I'm biased because I've never seen it, but, like, who's going there and is like, yeah, let me go see this bridge? I'll tell you who's going there. Every single supervillain ever. Yeah, the you're right. The Decepticons, the monkeys, everybody. That's I don't know why the villains gravitate towards the bridges. It's like there's so many more pretty things or cool things that you could go destroy, and, and that's what you go after is you go after the bridges. I guess it's the same thing with the Statue of Liberty. Just as much risk to show up there. You never know who's going to pop up. But, I mean, I can imagine it's pretty cool, uh, but, I mean, you get there and you're just like, wow, it's a big bridge. You could walk across, though, or something like that, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah okay, walk I'll across, go walk across the across. bridge. I mean, I don't know. We were, we were hyping up every other place, but then San Fran came around and it was the bridge and we instantly just went after it. I mean, <laughs> there's always one that we got to go after, and sorry, San Fran, it's the bridge. It's not doing it for us, okay? They got uh, Alcatraz, too. Ah, they got that. I guess, okay, that's redeeming. I'd go see Alcatraz before I went and go see the bridge. Go check out Mr. Sean Connery jumping around in there. <laughs> All right. We got Zion National Park. That is how you say it, right? Zion? Zion, Zion. Yeah. okay. I got nervous for a second. I was very, it's like, like I don't know if you uh, saw me tighten up on the camera there because I was like, it's either Zion or Zion. I'm going <laughs> to look stupid one way or the other. No, um, okay, yeah, you good. Got it. You got it straight. Good, good. Zion Park. Uh, that's in Utah, nestled somewhere in between Las Vegas and Salt Lake City. We got a quiet park in the southwest corner of Utah, boasts pretty canyons, a sweeping river, and one of the best views of the night sky you could ask for. I mean, Whew. let me tell you. I mean, if you're trying to, if you're trying to go out, catch a nice view of the stars. I mean, say less. I mean, I'm going to Zion. I mean, I've seen some of the photos, like right, because like this is like these are like the the. You have a Mac, right? Yeah, yeah. Like these are these are oh, like the these those. are the stock backgrounds that they show. <laughs> Zion up there. They got the night sky, the stars. I mean, if that's the kind of views I can expect out there, beautiful. beautiful. I mean, why would you want to see that when you can see the plain blank green field from the windows background? <laughs> right. I mean, I guess that's how my only connection to all of these, and that's why I guess I can thank Apple, is because I think at one point or another, half of these national parks have been their backgrounds. Yeah. Um, and that's that's my only frame of reference. So I just remember seeing those stars and thinking that's it. But I'll I, take those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we got number one more one? left? It's and are we got to be number and one. And we got to finish with number one. We haven't seen number one yet, so what could it possibly be? Clickbait title, the best <laughs> place you can go. <laughs> number one place everyone should visit for this upcoming summer, I guess. According to U.S. News. Drum roll, please. Is that a drum? No. The Grand Canyon, okay. Arizona. I mean, I mean, that's. I mean, we could have saw this one coming, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they had Old Faithful on there. They had New York on there. I mean, the Grand Canyon was only a stone's throw away. Yeah, yeah. It. It's big, guys. It's real big. I mean, we got a big canyon. Some hikes going on. You see all these orange rocks. I mean, where else would you want to be? I can't I, think of a place. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I will say, though, I've noticed how the bulk of the things on this list have all been outdoor activities or outdoor places to visit. That just goes to show you how sick and tired people are of being, like, locked up inside. Like, everybody's just yeah. trying to get out to nature. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I can see why that's number one. Have you ever been to the Grand Canyon? I have not. I've actually not traveled a bunch at all, and I need to. I need to before I... Before I get dead. <laughs> I'm willing to just cut it right there. And I that would be a funny before I'm willing before I get dead.